So, so these houses that we've been viewing today, they're eco-electric. That's right. Right. So, compared to a normal new build house, yeah. tell me what the difference is. Right. So, the two, Red Road do, they call, they've got two different setups. They've got the Eco Now and mm -hmm. Eco Electric. Eco Now is effectively, it's like the old way of doing things, but a modern way of doing it. So, a boiler. Yeah, so your gas boiler. So what they do is, so they, they, they have this approach which they call fabric first, which is effectively using materials that are most energy efficient. Yeah. So when you get your EPC rating, it'll be as, as, as good as it possibly can be. Yeah. So we're talking about the most efficient gas-fired uh, central heating boiler. Um, you know, the uh, insulation is the latest technology. Mm. The double glazing is look, looked at from a, the, the, the most economical. So you know. it's more energy efficient. But yeah. in the normal tradition. In the normal way. tradition. So you'd normally in a normal house you think of gas central heating and, and, and electricity yeah. the, the, the way that you'd you'd normally have. Again with the appliances, they tend to go aerated if you get the appliances from them. So yeah. you're getting the best energy efficiency. So with that's eco now. With eco electric, the difference is an air sourced heat pump, effectively. Inside or outside? Outside. So right. uh, uh, the heat pump itself, which I'll Put a, a link, I'll put a video showing what it looks like, but it's a box with a fan in it. Like an air conditioning unit, like that's you have it. the same sort of thing. Like we, if you went on holiday on a balcony, you'd yeah. see a box with fans in, it's that kind of thing, and right. that's on the outside of the house. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it uses the air, so it, it, it picks up warmth from the air and then uses that to heat your home, to okay. heat hot water. So what you've got, which is similar, is you'll have a big tank and a cylinder with hot water in it. Inside? Inside, okay. that's usually upstairs on your landing where you'd normally have your water tank. Yeah. And then the difference is what Red Row have done then is they've they deliver these as standard with underfloor heating throughout the yeah, downstairs. So it feels really warm. It does. Said that We're in one now, yeah. and it, it is. It's, You've it's, got a t-shirt on. I've got, got a t-shirt on. on, but it is it is super warm. And I've noticed it's all it feels really evenly spaced warm. It's not warm by like the radiator. Like That's right. Have. It's and just all warm. A lot of that is down to the fact that it's, it's like a big radiator under the floor. Yeah. So it's on at a lower temperature. You'll notice the thermostats are set to 18, but it feels a lot warmer. If you were to set your normal central heating with a smallish radiator, you'd probably need it to be higher than that. You might set it at 20 to get this type of heat. Yeah. Um, so the, the more energy efficient, I'm not going to, in this chat, I'm not going to go into the details of, you know, how it compares and all the rest of it. There's, there's a lot of uh, there's an argument to say, well, uh, gas units are cheaper than electricity, so therefore it's cheaper to have uh, gas central heating. But there's a lot more, it's a lot more complicated than that. What you've got to think about is, the best way of looking at it is that the efficiency is for every one unit, because you're paying to run the heat pump, mm. and the heat pump then generates that heat, it yeah. pushes that heat into your, into your house. That um, is, for every one unit that you are spending, you're getting two out. Yeah. Effectively. Which so it's, is why on the thermostat we're looking at 17, 18 degrees and it feels a lot warmer. That's that. to do with the fact that there's more the, 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 the space that it's heating is greater. Right, so it's okay. because the rooms are bigger with a small radiator, it has it to work to harder to heat that bigger room. It's just a volume thing. Whereas with this, it's like a huge radiator under the floor. You can have it on a much lower temperature because it's Constantly, everywhere. Yeah. So it covers a wider area. So that's why it's a lot lower. Um, in terms of the energy efficiency argument, it is it definitely does improve the carbon footprint, which is yeah. why they were doing it, because the government brought in legislation that was scrapping gas boilers by, I think it was 2035. Mm. There's been an announcement on that, but it gets they, they change all the time. They're saying that that's not the case anymore, mm. um, but they're trying to get us to be less dependent on gas. Yeah. So really what, you, what we're saying is it's future-proofing yeah. your house. And although they're not popular in the UK, other parts of Europe, particularly Germany, do use heat pumps and they use them mm. effectively and, and they have done for some time. To put one in yourself in a house, quite expensive, isn't it? It so is. Getting them already built in. To have it already built in is a lot more effective because it's a retrofit all this, you tens of thousands of pounds yeah. because the heat pump itself, they range from about two and a half up to about five or six. And then you're under floor heating, you'd have to rip all your, all your flooring up mm. and fit all that. You can imagine there's a massive cost, massive amount of disruption. Mm. So to move in and have all this heater, has got to be a benefit. Yeah. I mean, underfloor heating, there are wet systems and you can get them fully electric. The electric ones are not efficient at all because electric price is higher, yeah. but they're not efficient in the way that they run. I wouldn't recommend having electric underfloor heating throughout a house, but with the air pump, it does make it more cost effective just right. because they're just so much more efficient. And again, I'm not gonna get into the argument of whether it, how it compares with gas. You know, you could argue, 
in some situations it would be cheaper with a gas boiler mm. in others no but the other thing that you can do solar panels are optional yeah you can't generate your own gas but you can generate your own electricity if you've got a solar panel and you've got battery storage you can make it even more cost effective so my next question then is can solar panels and the heat pump link in together 100 percent. so solar panels work well obviously that's taking light daylight it doesn't need sun i know we don't get much sun and a lot of people today. <laughs> i know there's a little bit of sun and snow it, the the technology now it just needs daylight it doesn't yeah. need bright sunshine but the problem with historically has been that you need to use that energy there and then mm -hmm. or you can sell it back into the grid whereas there's loads of other options now where you can get battery storage so if you combine it with battery storage, you can literally generate the electricity, store it in a battery, and then use that battery when it's best for you. So if you've got a tariff where of, 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 during the nighttime hours, the energy price is cheaper, then you can use the energy that you've stored in the day. But yeah. again, that's all they're all extras. Um, yeah. I know Red Road do offer a solar panel option. I'm mm. not so sure what they do in terms of battery storage. So it's something to look at if... if the eco approach is something that you're interested in and energy efficiency in particular and carbon footprint. Yeah, if you're into All green things. All these things are something to consider. Yeah, if you're into green things. I think the, the, my, my point with this is if you want underfloor heating, and this is probably one of the best ways of it's doing it. the best it. ways of doing um, it, yeah. yeah. And to move into a house brand new and have that already there, no radiators on the walls, you know, you've got the benefits of having all of that extra wall space to use That's a storage. That's I like. You've yeah. got no radiator, so you can use literally every wall. I love that. Yeah, and, the and then upstairs, you've got the traditional radiators. So, you yeah. know, your towel rails and the bathrooms, um, nothing really different upstairs. And then... And you can control them all individually, can't you? So you That's can right. control downstairs and upstairs. So if downstairs heat rises, yeah. So if downstairs is heating, naturally heating upstairs, you can turn them down. You can, yes. Yeah. So you've got the two zones, yeah. upstairs radiators, downstairs yeah, on like the floor that. heating. The other thing that they come with is EV, so the electrical vehicle chargers, yeah, electric vehicle chargers. It's easy for me to say. But yeah, they come as standard as well. So you've got a pod point on the outside, mm. which is another nice feature. If you're into those green things... You've, well, you've got a Tesla. <laughs> you've got a Tesla, <laughs> you've got an electric vehicle. It's just a lot quicker. Put it in a three-point pin mm. plug it takes ages it can take 24 hours to charge one up mm. whereas because they're higher powered you're in a position where you can charge your car up in you know in a few hours and yeah. you know you can control them with an app so that the only if you've got an ev tariff you can do it with an evening so having a mm. electric vehicle charger this is for someone who's into green things yeah and they've got an electric vehicle you want the underfloor heating this is a really great they option they are a good option and especially with the ev points as well they're not cheap to install are they so you're no. getting that as standard, so if you are looking at a new home, like you say, and you've got an electric car, and you want them things, it's yeah, worth it. Yeah, it's a great option.